Welcome to these companion materials. Um, I've put together a number of resources for statistics, data, and models, 4th edition, to help students get a clearer sense of what's important in the reading and to see some of the examples of how things are implemented in R. Chapter 1 is an introduction. A lot of it may feel very familiar to you. Just kind of taking a quick look through this. Um, I like some of the uh, comic strips and, and definitions. Some of the examples in here are very helpful. Um, it's always a good idea to be looking through the sidebar, to be thinking about skimming the chapter quickly, and then coming back and, and reviewing notes and uh, jotting down things that you think you might want to come back to later on. This section provides a definition of statistics and our first introduction to data and thinking about here how values that Amazon might collect are provided uh, in this example. I urge you to take a close look at that. It's a pretty short chapter, but it really sets the stage for a number of the questions we're going to be trying to answer throughout the semester. This question of who and what, how data are collected, are very important uh, for us in thinking about statistics and modeling. Uh, starting again from scratch, we have the idea of variables, categorical variables, which we'll be seeing in Chapter 2, quantitative variables that get introduced in Chapter 3. Much of this may be a review for you, so we'll be moving fairly quickly through this uh, as we proceed. We have these idea of identifiers, ordinal variables. We'll talk more about data types as we proceed through the semester, but this chapter provides a brief overview uh, of those. Each uh, chapter has some examples in it, and it's very helpful to kind of be going through and asking these questions, covering the answer, and seeing that those are, are working. There's also a very useful feature called Just Checking, and these answers are provided at the back of the book. So here it's looking at some data from the Tour de France, and we have information from 1903 up to 2014. Chapters uh, will often include these What Can Go Wrong? And these are very helpful. We don't want to be always thinking of the negative, but um, we always want you to be a, 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 a good creative, uh, critical consumer. Learning objectives are really important for uh, the chapter of the course and your and our understanding of statistics. So those are also very helpful to be kind of reading as you as you proceed. And of course, the review of terms you'll be allowed to bring a piece of paper to exams, and those. Uh, terms may be very helpful in terms of definitions, just to kind of fix your understanding. Now, the book has a lot of information on how to use different systems. This includes some information about R. Unfortunately, some of those resources are a little bit old school. We're going to be using a more modern and um, powerful setup uh, in our studio. And that is actually something that's very quickly changing. So to help you with that, I've put together. So you don't really need to be looking at these resources. But the online resources, and the web page for this is provided on, on Moodle. But each chapter that has a significant amount of R includes these SDM4 and R examples. And if you just uh, see this, what it allows us to do is to be going ahead and replicating some of the analyses. So here, I've given the code to read in the data from the Tour de France, and we can see what the names of the different variables are, the dimensions of that, the number of rows and columns, for the first three lines of that of those data. We can go ahead and see what the last, uh, last eight lines are uh, from that, find out other things. Uh, we'll be using the filter function as a way of doing that the same way that we used head and tail above. We can calculate how many stages Alberto Contador um, completed on the tour, and then you know other things like the, the average, slowest average speed. So there's a lot of functions, a lot of practice we're going to be getting R as we proceed. Uh, more of that to come after chapter one. For each one of the chapters, there's a number of exercises. I've jumped in here to just a random random page. It's always important to remember that the, um, the odd-numbered problems have answers in the back of the book. Um, uh, it's not true for the even-numbered problems, but there's lots of practice that you'll be doing. I'd love to give you more homework problems, but I'll tend to have fewer homework problems that are assigned, but I definitely encourage you to work uh, as many of the odd-numbered problems as you can. 
Welcome again to the course. Welcome again to chapter one of Stats, Data, and Models. I hope you found this helpful.